Hello from Argentina, beautiful people. Today, my dream comes true because I'm going to Patagonia. Patagonia is every traveler's dream. In this video, I'll take you on a journey to Bariloche, a charming town located in the northern Patagonia region of Argentina. Bariloche is a town situated on the shores of Nahuel Huapi Lake, one of the largest lakes in Patagonia, and surrounded by the majestic Andes Mountains. I decided to take a bus from Buenos Aires to Bariloche, which is about 24 hours. You might think it's crazy, but this is something I've been recommended by uh, locals and uh, other folks who've been in the area. Buses in Argentina are super comfortable. I call it business class experience because the seats are fully reclinable. The bus stops a lot for the bathroom, for food. But the bus journey is an experience itself because of the breathtaking views of the Andes Mountains, glacial lakes and the rolling hills that we get to see on the road. It kind of became the part of the adventure given this uh, exciting feeling of a road trip. Now we have finally reached our hotel, which looks, to be honest, as if we're somewhere in, in a chalet in Swiss Alps. So let's go upstairs and check out the room. We've got upgraded to an enormous loft that had two floors and the view of the entire Nahu El Huabi Lake. Honestly, this place is so cool, I just don't even want to get out of it. But of course, I got hungry and got out for dinner and a short walk where I was lucky to see the reflection of the sunset in the mountains across the lake. Such a blessing to wake up to a view like this. The air smells delicious. I'm gonna go downstairs to have breakfast and uh, work for a few hours before we hit uh, on a new adventure. It's nice to see other digital nomads around. Really cool vibe. We're not the only ones, hey! Now that I'm done with work, it's time to explore Bariloche. Bariloche is known for its natural beauty and today I'm going on a hike to Piedras Blancas and Cerro Otto to enjoy some stunning views of Nahuel El Huapi Lake. The hike is moderate in difficulty and can take about 6 hours depending on our pace and the amount of time we're gonna spend admiring the views. We have reached Piedras Blanca's viewpoint quite quickly. We went through the forest track. It wasn't really far from our hotel, so everything was walkable. And oh my god, these views! The name Piedras Blancas means white stones in Spanish and the lookout point gets its name from the white stones found in the area. I think my friend and I spent about half an hour there just uh, meditating and looking at the stunning panoramic views of the lake. From 
Campia de las Blancas, the hike continues to the summit of Cerro Otto. It's a bit more challenging uh, to climb it up through trekking, so we decided to take a longer road, which is a bit dusty and rocky, but the views are amazing. Cerro Otto stands at an altitude of 1400 meters, and the summit offers incredible views of Bariloche and the surrounding mountains. On a clear day, you can even see the Chilean Andes in the distance. The summit also features a rotating restaurant, the only one of its kind in South America. But honestly, it was so full with stories that we just decided to skip it and keep walking. It was surprising to see some uh, zip lining and bouldering activities on top as well. There are people even doing paragliding, which looks amazing. I'm super afraid of heights, so this is not for me. I'm just gonna watch other people gliding through the sky. On the way back, we discovered there was also a so-called Telerifico, which is a cable cart uh, that could save us the challenging hike uh, to this altitude and the descent as well. But this is for lazy people. This is not for digital nomads. So we kept walking. is that I'm in Bariloche in April and it's autumn. It feels like September, October. In South Hemisphere, everything is upside down. So this is actually the second autumn I have this year. How incredible is that? The forests are golden. There are even mushrooms in the woods. We're gonna go hunt for them later. Really, this is my favorite season. And now I can have it twice a year. How cool is that? It's been seven hours of hiking and all I need right now is a juicy Argentinian steak. As they say in Argentina, buen provecho. Just as I was about to call it a day, there was a surprise waiting for us in the hotel. Not exactly sure what this is, but looks like some indigenous dancing, and the things this lady is doing with the poncho are simply impressive. Today my feet are so sore from all the hiking that I just put on my fluffy shoes and take it easy and explore the town. Barry Loche is a popular tourist destination in Argentina and is often referred to as the Switzerland of South America due to its alpine-style architecture and stunning mountain views. The town was founded in 1902 on the shores of the Nahuel Huapi Lake, which borders Bariloche, and is one of the largest and deepest lakes in Argentina, with a surface area of 529 square kilometers and a maximum depth of 464 meters. Bariloche has a rich history that dates back to the pre-Columbian times. The indigenous Mapuche people inhabited the area before the arrival of the Spanish in the 16th century. Later, the area became a hub for European immigrants who brought with them their own cultures and traditions. The city's architecture features a mix of styles, including Swiss, German, and Alpine, reflecting the European influence on the region. Many of the buildings are made of wood and stone and have distinctive pitched roofs. Bariloche is famous for its chocolate, which is said to be some of the best in Argentina. Visitors can sample a variety of artisanal chocolates, including milk, dark and white chocolate, as well as truffles, bonbons and other sweet treats. This street was really dangerous to walk around. A 
It's impossible to forget about tango, which is such a popular dance in Argentina, but it's not typically associated with Bariloche. However, the city does have a vibrant music scene with live performances happening at many bars and even at the street. After another long day full of adventure, I decided to treat myself with a spa. Bariloche is known for its spa experiences, which offers visitors a chance to relax and unwind in a serene and peaceful setting. These spas typically offer a range of treatments, including massages, facials, body scrubs, and hydrotherapy, and are designed to promote physical and mental well-being. One reason why Bariloche is famous for its spa experiences is the region's natural resources, such as hot springs and mineral-rich waters. These natural resources are believed to have therapeutic properties that can help ease muscle tension, promote relaxation, and improve circulation. The city has also developed its reputation for high-quality spa treatments, with many of its spas using locally sourced ingredients such as honey, lavender, algae, to create unique and effective treatments. Additionally, Bariloche has a long history of promoting health and wellness, with many of its hotels and resorts offering spa services as part of their amenities. For example, this spa was part of our hotel, and we paid less than $3 for a full day access, which is amazing. Yet another pleasure and the reason to come here to Bariloche. Another busy morning full of work behind, this afternoon we are arriving to Shao Shao. Shao Shao is a small town located within the Nahuel Huapi National Park, just a one hour bus ride from Bariloche. It's known for its outdoor activities such as hiking, mountain biking, skiing, fishing and bird watching. But I'm here on a specific mission, mushroom foraging. The forests surrounding the town are rich in diverse fungi species, some of which are used for medicinal purposes or are consumed as a delicacy in the local cuisine. Visitors can take guided tours to learn about the different varieties of mushrooms and their uses, but I consider myself a pro, so let's see if I get any luck. And we've got some luck by finding a few of butter mushrooms while watching the stunning beauty of the lakes. Shao Shao is also known for its Ariane forests, which are home to the unique and fragrant Ariane tree. The tree's cinnamon colored bark and bright green foliage create a striking contrast against the blue waters of the lakes, making it a popular spot for photographers. Suddenly the rain started, so we had to skip the boat tour and head back to town. But what an amazing hike! Today is my last day in Bariloche and we are making a mushroom quinoto for brunch from the mushrooms we picked yesterday in the forest and uh, replacing rice with quinoa. Mm. Later we are going to spend the day at Lago Morena which is between Bariloche and Shao Shao. There are plenty of activities to enjoy at Lago Morena including swimming, kayaking, fishing and hiking. You can also take a boat tour of the lake to see the surrounding scenery from a different perspective. If you enjoy hiking, there are several trails in the area that offer spectacular views of the lakes and, and the surrounding mountains. One popular hike is the Lago Morena circuit, which takes you around the lake and through the surrounding forests. Such a peaceful and beautiful destination to relax and enjoy nature. Unfortunately, it's time to leave because it's getting a bit cold in the area and there are so many other stunning places in Argentina that I have to explore. Getting to know Patagonia starting from Bariloche was an amazing choice. I have a feeling that I spent a week in Switzerland. 
Only difference that I spent about $300 on the entire trip, including hotel and flights and buses and entertainment and dinners. And that would cost me maybe 10 times more in Switzerland. If you're going to make a similar trip, I'm gonna leave the helpful links to the places that I can recommend below. And I can't wait to come back myself in winter and summer to enjoy a completely different experience of Bariloche as a ski resort or as a summer beach destination. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to share more adventures with me and keep living the dream. And if you don't, it's a great time to start.